On Monday, March 14th, a West New York Board of Education meeting was packed as the West New York Education Association took to the mic to argue their contract renewals, which many felt had been placed to the side. Association President Anita Kober addressed the issue that this matter has been in front of the board for over three years. I stand before you to address the situation we now face trying to move forward with negotiation of our contract. No money. That is what we are hearing. No money. But new titles are created and salaries are certainly <laughs> And new carpeting is laid. No money. At this time, three years ago, you were asked to prepare a budget up to the cap and you did not. Two years ago, we stood here and said the same thing, and again, you did not. Last year, we strongly urged you to prepare a budget for the current school year up to the gap and possibly more. Again, this request fell on deaf ears. You ask us, and we will tell you that our take-home pay now is lower than it was five years ago. Second and third jobs to make ends meet and foreclosures on homes is now is how we are changing. However, the fact that our contract was ending in June of 2015 was not going to change. Here's what it means when you fail to budget correctly. It means that you do not care enough about us, the employees. We matter. Memorial High School shop teacher Ron Grossinger stressed that the decision of the contracts will inevitably trickle down to the students. Uh, when teachers are pinching pennies to pay the rent, like, um, I forget her name, she came up with before. Um, and all of us! Other than that, when we're watching every dollar, you know, the, the pressure's on. I've taken on, I've got two other jobs. I work at the college and I work for myself as well. Uh, but i got to tell you, that's... It's, it's, it's a lot of pressure, and the pressure, regardless of how mature or, or how you can keep it together, if the pressure's on the adult, it's going to go to the kids. So anything that the Board of Ed decides, it's going to trickle down. So the, the bottom line is that anything that happens trickles down to the students, positive or negative. One West New York resident felt the need to voice his concerns to the Board of Ed out of respect for the teachers that guided him through his educational path noting that they deserve fair salaries, while also pointing out that Superintendent Herrera was clearly fighting for higher salary not so long ago. It's just appalling to know that this issue has been going on for five years. This is not even a one year the super, and the superintendent, I know for a fact, in, in New Jersey, you were talking, in New Jersey, it was reported that you were fighting about your salary increase. <laughs> This is Michael Rodriguez for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.